I'm Steve Mann and this is Paper Classroom. Welcome to another one of our water and chemical additive tutorials. In this particular tutorial we're going to be talking about Sticky's control agents. So the types of materials that we use for sticky control are things like talc because talc has both hydrophobic and hydrophilic edges to the particles. Bentonites, which are a, a quite a fine clay. And alum, aluminium sulfate, because the uh, cationic nature of the material will pull together lots of um, anionic particles that might be sticky to make them big enough to be able to remove from the system. Now the sorts of problems that stickies cause are holes in the sheet because if you get a sticky somewhere on a roll then it comes into contact with the sheet and then depart. Either the sticky will divide and you'll end up with a sticky particle in your sheet or the sticky particle won't divide and it will tear a piece out of your sheet. Or it could cause the blinding of your wire, of your forming fabric. If it causes the forming fabric to be blinded, that means water will not go through there because there's no way for it to drain through. If water doesn't go to that area of the wire, it will not carry fiber with it. And therefore, you won't get any fiber in the area where the sticky is. So you will make a sheet that has got a hole in it. Or it may uh, blind the felts, felts particularly in the press section. If it blinds the felts in the press section, water can't leave the sheet and go into the felt, so it stays in the sheet. So that area will stay wetter than all the other areas around it. And you can get problems like uh, cockling or something like that. Or sticky particles can build up on a roll and it builds up in the same place you get a band of stickies around the roll and then when the sheet passes over that area it'll either put an embossed mark in the sheet or it'll tear bits out in that area or it'll put a sort of crease in the sheet so those are the problems that we're trying to avoid so how do we control stickies. One is to remove them from the system completely but if you do that you'll get a, an ever-increasing pile on your land which eventually will have to be removed. You could pacify them so you can make the surface of the sticky non-sticky and I'll give you a little demonstration of that in a moment. Or the fashionable way you could make them so small that they actually go out with the product and because they're so small they don't cause any problems so first one remove them you could remove stickies but you've got costs associated with getting the right sort of equipment to remove the stickies and to consolidate them in some way and then of course you keep kicking them out of the system they're going to build up somewhere on your land and eventually you're going to have to pay somebody to take them away so you're going to have to pay to take them out of the system and then you're going to have to pay to be taken off the land the next one is to pacify them and here's my little example here we've got some uh, my equivalent of a sticky particle it's some chewing gum and you could put in the system something like talc for example so here I've just used a bit of uh, household flour for making bread so this particle is now completely non-sticky so we say we have pacified this particle so if you put talc 
in your system then the talc will stick to the surface of the sticky like that and make it non-sticky the problem is if it goes through a pump or through a screen then it gets torn up and you get more sticky area so pacifying stickies isn't always the right answer so we coat them with talc and as I said shear can create these what we call secondary stickies so you have a big primary sticky and when it goes through a pump or goes through a screen if it gets sheared and broken up and made into smaller stickies that are still damaging then we call those secondary stickies and as you see it creates a new sticky surface and finally one thing to do is to make them too small to be problematic so we find ways of either keeping them small so that they don't agglomerate to become big stickies or we break down big stickies to make them small enough so that they can't do any damage if they're too small they won't do any damage and there's two advantages of this because you're keeping them in the system and they're too small to do any damage they will get incorporated into the sheet and then they will go out with the sheet effectively it's product so you've no disposal costs you don't have to pay anyone to take it off site and those stickies you're actually selling to the customer at the same price as the product so if, I don't know if you're if you're selling some paper at 700 pounds a ton eventually you will collect a ton of stickies you can either pay somebody to take away a ton of stickies or in tiny little particles you can send it out with the product and the customer has just paid you £700 for all your stickies so that's the way to go so thank you for watching this little video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it informative and uh, please feel free to leave any comments or ask any questions and I look forward to seeing you in another video